he was hurt. Bro, he whacked the shit out of Ronaldo in training. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is wild. He didn't even say sorry, nothing. If I play, oh, I'm here, it's too far. Can you guys see me here? Uh, not oh. really. That's, that's too high, right? All right, guys, you see us here right now with Giuseppe Rossi. We're, uh, we're gonna test his FIBA skills. Giuseppe, thank you for coming on. I gotta warn you before, Michael is a very good player, but I also heard you're a beast, I'm decent. so. Listen, listen, I still haven't found anybody who beat me yet in FIFA 20. Oh, really? Yo, you found them right here. Bro, Mike, come on, man, let's not, <laughs> listen, let's keep it PG because I get nervous and I start saying things I don't wanna say. Well, you see, but because you haven't lost, we had to make it a little bit more challenging for you. We have a lot of questions that all of your fans sent in that we're, we'll, we'll see how good you are at multitasking if you're able to answer the questions as you play. Um, but first off, you're in Salt Lake right now. How are you doing? Yep. How's, uh, how's it being with uh, an MLS team and how's the city? Um, it's good, bro. It's good. I mean, being in quarantine is horrible. <laughs> I, think, I think we could all say that. Oh, fuck. Uh, just one second here because I got oh, the ball. Oh my yes. God. And um, and it, it's tough, bro. It's tough because you know I'm here solo. My wife she went back uh, to Jersey a few days before um, all this stuff happened. Shit. So uh, we decided just to keep her there, just to keep her safe. And um, nice. and that's really it, bro. It's uh, it's tough, but we're trying. You know, we all just got to do our part. Stay inside as much as you can. Social distance, all that shit. You know. Yeah, I heard. I heard. Uh, that's, How's it going over there for you guys? Now nah, we're good. We're good. Um, we're we're calm. We're just we only go to our studio. I only see this guy all day. Unfortunately, unfortunately but um, <laughs> it is what it is. For for now, this is the this is the way we got to take it. You know. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So first off, um, yo, amazing that that we get to see you back. I know now it happened at a weird time. Uh oh. Oh, come on, bro. It happened at a weird no, time bro. right after you signed. He's not really bothering me too much, don't worry about it. Oh, Ooh. damn, Mike? okay. <laughs> He's not bad, He's better than I thought. Bro, so you're, you're excited to be back on the field and uh, be back playing as a professional? Yeah, man, I mean, it was good to get, you know, my first run out. Um, the first game, those 10 minutes. That was good. Um, you know, unfortunately, this broke out, so uh, we gotta be patient. We gotta be patient, you know, stay ready. Uh, stay fit for whenever, for whenever. Oh, uh, he's, he's lucky also, <laughs> this guy. He, I don't know how bro, lucky he was. I don't know what I'm saying right now, too. I have no idea what I'm saying. But I can't wait to get out there um, and just uh, and just be a soccer player again. So these are some quick fire questions from, from your fans, so, from from yes. all your fans that, that uh, we're, we're sending in questions on. Uh, they're easy ones. I'll, I'll do the easy ones since, you know, you, you won't have to think too much. In 2006, okay. for the World Cup, where were you, man? 2006. I know perfectly where I was. I just got into England because um, I finished my summer, my summer, uh, my summer vacay, and it was me and my father in the apartment in England, and we watched the finals there. When we won that, bro, I, ne I never cried. I really never cried like for a soccer game, but that was the first time I ever cried. I got to say. Really? You and your dad were just going nuts. Yeah, me and my dad like. Like we were hugging, my mom, I can't even say it. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we were hugging, jumping, like crying. I'm like, bro, this is, it, it's wild. It's wild. I think every Italian is gonna remember where they were when we won that World Cup. Bro, I remember, I remember exactly what I was wearing. I remember the way, I remember my posture, every single moment of that, of that final. It was Your fucking posture? crazy. Yeah, bro, I, I, I was very, I was very, um, what do you call it? Superstitious? Like superstitious. So I remember I said, oh, okay, okay. I, I told myself, I was like, yo, if you put your heels on the ground, cause I was on my toes, I had my feet up on my toes. I was like, yo, if you put your heels down, we're gonna lose the match. So for 90 <laughs> minutes, bro, I kept my heels up. I was going crazy. Great calf exercise That's though, I'm not gonna lie. Suspicious, man. Yeah. The calves are probably as big as, uh, <laughs> as big as Shakiri's calves. Yeah, bro. I was, I don't know, I was scared. I, I, cause you know, because if my heels touch the ground, it clearly means that they're not gonna win the World Cup. You know, it makes, makes total sense. <laughs> Yo, so uh, Nick, Nick Lado said, favorite pizza spot in Jersey? 
favorite pizza spot. You know what? It's kind of hard to say just because like it's not really like a lot of pizza joints in uh, in Jersey. Okay. It's not like a real a lot of pizza spot. I mean, listen, uh, I know Set in Total was a good spot. There's a place that opened up just by my house in Hailden, uh, which is good. Uh, yeah, those are probably like the places that I go. But the best spot is probably my grandma's pizza. That's all. Yeah, yeah, of course. Wait, but you have a you have a spot now too, right? You have a restaurant in Jersey. I do. What what's the name of it? What's the name of the restaurant? My restaurant is called Piazza Twenty Two. So Piazza Twenty Two because we have enough yet safe in the bag. Twenty Two because you know it's my number. Ooh! I can't. I can't. <laughs> That was nothing. You should put a clover on your restaurant too with all these fucking, uh, how lucky yeah, you are over here. Really, for some reason we have a clover. Oh, wow. I think it was like an Irish pub back in the day and it like, and it stayed there. So we, so we kept it for good luck. Yeah, bro, it came to this FIFA match, right? <laughs> 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 He's getting lucky over here. It should be up 3-0. All right, bro. You play, you've, you've been in a lot of places. You played for a bunch of teams. Where's your, your favorite city that you lived in? Oh, hands down Florence, man. That's like the second home to me. I love the people. I love uh, I love the city itself. Like the fans were great with me, man. So like they just accepted me from day one. Um, a lot of great memories. Um, I bought a house out there, so that's like my second home. That's crazy. The good thing about Florence is that it's the only team in the city, so everybody loves you, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They're not competing with anybody. Giuseppe, you ever tried the? I forgot what it was called. Uh, lamb stomach, the lambradotto. What's what are they oh, known for? Nah, that's not for me, man. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, dude, I tried it once. I was like, let me just try, just to try. You know, I'm in Florence. Uh, it was hard nah, to it's eat. Too, it's too much, bro. It's too. Uh, it's nah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I can't. Yeah, me too. Me too. I didn't. Michael. Michael. I, did I it. tried it just to try. You know, I was like, yo, I'm I'm in Florence. Why not? Did you like it? I, I, I wouldn't try it. I don't think I tried it again. It wasn't, it wasn't tasty, bro. <laughs> I, I prefer pasta. <laughs> yeah, but they say it's like La Tripa. Yeah, tri what is it, tripe? Oh, tri yeah. tripe? Yeah, they say it's similar to La Tripa. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, Mikey Maz asks, who's the best player you've ever played with? I always say this. I always say skulls and gigs. Ooh. Those are my favorite players that I play with. Probably like the most talented. I just... I just love them, man. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, I should be a 5-0. That was out by like 5 feet. Yeah. Let's, let's see, see let's... how close. Yo, you're lucky! <laughs> you're, you're lucky and you know it. Bro, you got the clover in there with you or what? Yo, he did something. He was praying before this. Uh, he did something. Wow. Bro, wow. Skulls, how tough is Skulls in training? Is he just a fucking a hammer? Bro, Skulls is, uh, he's a beast. I'll never forget actually this story. I'll tell you a story about gigs. Um, um, so there was Ronaldo, right? I played with Ronaldo out there. Um, he would, I spent one second, one second. I gotta figure out what he's doing. I knew it, I knew it. I knew you were going there. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, there's Ronaldo, right? He's young, he's trying to, you know, show that he's able to, uh, hang with the big boys. He was doing great stuff already, anyway. Uh, and, uh, and, and anyway, he's doing like, you know, his moves and his tricks in training. Bro, Giggs came out of nowhere, you know, he's like, you know, one of the seniors of the thing. He didn't, he didn't like it whenever uh, that stuff happened. So he wanted to make sure that like, you know, he was hurt. Bro, he whacked the shit out of Ronaldo in training. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is wild. He didn't even say sorry, nothing like, you know, Ronaldo was like starting to be the star of the team. You know what I mean? Like control the stars and stuff. And, um, and, um, and bro, he whacked him so hard. I'm like, all right, he's gonna say sorry, blah, blah. But he just looked, he yep. just looked at him. He just looked at him. Like, you know that famous picture of him when he's looking down at Viera? Same thing, and then he walks away. Um, and, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, holy shit, like, you know, I, I gotta be careful. I really can't, like, you know, try to do all my, all my stuff and like, you know, be technical on that. They're, they're gonna kick the shit out of me. And, um, and that was just like a saying, like, like, like it's just him saying, yeah, like you're becoming the star of the team, but you know, respect me, respect my team, respect my elders. So, you know, in um, in Manchester, like there's like a big, uh, there's like a big cultural thing that you have to respect, and uh, and gigs and skulls were the enforcers. Let's put it that way. Bro, doesn't doesn't every team like need something like that? Like these kind of historical teams, like a person that represents that in the locker room. 100%, bro, 100%. I mean, I feel like today times are changed uh, because the young guys, they have a lot of more power. Yeah. 
My water got quick. If they don't give him a red card. Red card? They That's yellow red maybe. Card, I swear to God. Red. It's yellow red. maybe. Nah, nah. Nothing. Thank you. Nothing. Thank you. He got nothing. Now that's a great ref right there. Oh no, he gave it. He gave it yellow. Oh shit. Anyway. You're anyway, saying young people have a lot second. more power, young players now. Right? Yeah, young players, they have oh, they have too much power. Oh, oh yo, get one shot power? on target. You see that power, baby? One shot on target, power? bro. Oh my That's what I'm talking it's about. It's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? That's what I'm talking As about. As you're talking about power, bro. I'm talking about power. Look at that. <laughs> one shot Let's over go. here. Okay, one shot. So, you know, they have a lot of uh, power. They have a little bit more um, uh, say in a lot of things that's happening with the club, um, you know, about the culture of the club. And, uh, you know, the young kids today, they're very uh, spoiled. Yeah. They're very spoiled. And I think that's the reason why you don't have that anymore. The young ones that are cleaning up uh, the field or getting the balls or, like, you know, doing that stuff. I mean, that's how I grew up. I remember. And it sets a certain... It sets a certain uh, culture in the team, and um, and that's definitely missed. Definitely, definitely missed. Yeah, for sure, bro. Even look at look at Milan. Like when Zlatan came back, I know people were all talking shit, saying, "Oh, Zlatan's old. Why are you signing like a thirty-eight year old, thirty-eight year old?" But there's also like the aspect to it that he understands what it means to play for Milan. And he understands what it means, you know, for the other players to understand that too. Yeah, and he understands what the word professionalism means, which I think uh, young kids today need to understand. Um, you know, just like I said, they're very spoiled. Again, these big contracts, transfer fees are crazy, and it's not really their fault. Unfortunately, you know, agents around this world, they just want to make a buck, and um, and they feel like with young players, they're able to do so. So oh. that's why you're gonna get um, sent I off, Mike. But uh, you know, they change the culture of you know the soccer world, the pricing, and all that stuff because you know they're able to make a quick buck. And obviously, us players are the ones that you know are we get benefited with it, but also um, it changes uh, the mood, the mood around the teams, the mood around how you know we go about our everyday lives, and it's definitely not how um, our like everyday lives in the training ground and how a team is supposed to be uh, run. Uh oh, let's go! Let's go! Yo, ask him more questions. Come on, let's go for the win. I don't know what the hell I just said. And this guy told me to get all the calls and everything. What a goal, man. I thought it was all. I have no idea what I said, all right? I hope I made sense. No, no, you made total sense. You made total sense. And what I was going to say was, I don't know if you ever saw that quote from Gattuso, but he was pissed with some youngsters in the locker room. And he said, if... Holy shit. Bro, you need a dive button in this game. You would have gotten a penalty. No, 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 oh my god, yo, thank oh, god, I never felt something like that. How did he shoot it so soft? Oh my god, finally, get Bro, a little bit of luck. There it is. Oh my god. That was deserved. That was deserved. Talking about Milan, Bro, how the hell did that ball get stuck? What was that? I never saw something like that. That's fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. But but like I was saying with with Gattuso, there was a quote from Gattuso where he said, "If I see any any of my players." Uh, taking selfies or going Instagram live in the locker room. He said, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna get a bat and I'm going to bash their teeth in. Uh, <laughs> that's typical Gattuso. You love... <laughs> that's typical Gattuso, bro. I love Gattuso, man. He's my guy. He's my guy. Us too, man. Us too. We love that guy. But yeah, yo, I agree. I'll tell you a story about Gattuso, all right? All right, beautiful. And I hope you guys interview him and I hope that uh, I highly doubt he remembers, but listen to this. No! Wow. 2009 uh, com uh, Confederation Cup. That's bad. That's bad. This is the last play of the game. Ah, you lucky. Bisca, bisca. Clover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> game one, Giuseppe. I got to see these stats. I got to see these stats, man. His stats, bro. I, I dominate. <laughs> the most important stats are the, the scoreline. Oh, yeah, I mean, 2-1. That's the only thing you got to look at. But you know what? I don't care because I know that and they're so much better than you. Okay. We'll see the second game. So you were saying 2009 Confederations Cup? 
2009 Confederations Cup. Um, I'm the young one on the team. You know, we used to play a lot of two touches. You guys think that Gattuso doesn't have a touch in the ball? Bro, 